everyone, this is our third day in the United Kingdom. We are in Shrewsbury together with Michael and Chris. How are you both doing? Fine, thank you. <laughs> I'm always good when I come down here. Yeah. Cheers me up. Eat all the cake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's always nice to come over here to visit Michael. We know him from last year. Obviously, Chris has been a friend with him for a long time now. Yeah. yeah. Um, how, how are both of you going? What happened since we visited you last time? You had youngsters, yeah, winter... Yeah, well, separated, got them through the malt, obviously using your products. Set, I like the set of colleagues, helped a lot. Amino as well. Um, obviously this year I've got some new products for you to try. Um, I had an instance, as I say, with my droppings a, a few days ago when I changed the corn. So I tried this more active, more yeah. active. <laughs> and um, it, they seem to have started stiffen up a little bit so it's looking quite promising yeah as i say it's all new to me apart from two obviously two of your products um and i seem they did okay last year with using them the two that i used i can't complain i obviously this year we'll be trying again um but again thanks to chris and yourself and don't forget the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're doing all right, and the pigs look re relatively well. Obviously, we've had a very wet, horrible winter, um, so they haven't been able to go out. And now we've got the problem with our BOP up there. But the next couple of weeks, they'll be out and giving it some... Yeah, uh, uh, some action. <laughs> well, welly, we call it here. Like, we give it getting some welly, fit. getting them fit. And then, hopefully by the, the first or the, probably the first week of april they'll be separated all of them and we'll really start to get them they've got to fly first for me i've always maintained this they must fly around here free flight first if they're not flying naturally because they want to then there's no point in road the car training them absolutely my opinion and i'm not i mean i'm just me i'm not an expert yeah what about you chris you uh, had a lot of changes. Busy period, a lot of changes, yeah. Uh, sold all my sprinting family, which me and my brother had uh, cultivated over nearly 20 years since we we we, uh, we got a certain line of pigeon. Um, obviously, I moved house less than two years ago. Uh, due to personal reasons and a few other reasons, I've now moved back to where I left. Uh, so I'm just sorting the loft out at that place. I have introduced and purchased a few longer distance pigeons, uh, mainly with the target of just racing middle to long distance in National Flying Club. Uh, sprinting, I feel, is there's nothing to race far in sprinting whatsoever. Uh, me and my brother have won everything there is to win in sprinting, so I've turned my attention just to National Flying Club and uh, hopefully a few years I shall be doing all right in that but yeah. uh, still a lot of work to do at the house and, and the loft as well. So Yeah, of course. Michael, you told us about the winter and we all know it's very harsh We're here with the weather and with everything. Do you do any treatments over the winter and um, how are you guys keeping the pigeons stable in terms of diseases over the winter? Well, and I only vaccinate with paramyxovirus because that's what we have to do by by law basically other than that I don't really do any treatments treatment through the winter because as long as they look and handle well the products that I use which I've already said as for me is enough at that time when they start to want to do a bit of business then obviously your feeding will change the products will, will be the same plus the new ones I'm going to try this year um, and hopefully we can maintain health yeah and my saying is health and happiness because if they're not healthy and they're not happy they won't fly anyway yeah so and tell us what what are you giving them right now well I'm giving them sedacol amino and I've just did this more active. More, more, yeah, more, more active. active. More active. They're the three that I'm using at the moment. Plus the pink minerals, and I also give them a bath, as you've seen. Yeah. 
inside at the moment because he can't go out because of the you know what's up there. The Peregrine Sparrow and had um, problems with Sparrow. They look relatively well. I can't. I mean, because I'm not a veterinarian, so I can't tell you that I'm everything's perfect. Yeah, we'll obviously take a look later inside. Yeah, uh, but we already did. Uh, and uh, you said uh, just a breeding corn. Yeah, yeah I, I've just used, I, I use a breed and wean, which is, you can buy more or less anywhere. Ma mostly maple peas and a bit of small stuff. Because I find it, from, again, my opinion, is when they regurgitate to feed the youngsters, um, the, if you feed them beans and a bit of maize, it's, I think it takes more out of them to regurgitate. Again, it's only my opinion, I'm yeah. not saying I'm right. It's just what I, I like to do. Um, I've also, I do implement when they're the first week of their birth, I give them pellets, which are chicken pellets, yeah, not yeah. for pigeons, um, which I find very good when this, when they're, until they're about seven days old. Um, but basically that, that's it, it's, it's very simple. There's nothing, no top secret or anything, except for when his mate came and told Kevin. It was Kev, wasn't it? Kevin. Yeah, so when he asked me what I was giving him, I said it's top secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, he laughed. He's a laugh. But, and um, um, how yeah. did it go? Uh, you, you showed us a pigeon you purchased. Uh, tell us about uh, your purchases, if that's the only pigeon you purchased, and if you moved any pigeons from the racing uh, squad from last year to the I, breeding loft. I moved one cock into the from my race team because he's he topped the fed. His son came actually before him and he was flying and he was two actually two yearlings flying around one was his son so the father came down and the son followed him with the odd pigeon i ended up first second or third federation on that particular day but had he had come in the son would have took the fed well it's, it's a son from the year before the same pigeon so the same father he took the federation as a yearling so I've decided to put him in the, the breeding, in, in yeah, the breeding so. lot because I've had two years, two fed winners. Um, I've only purchased two pigeons this winter, well three actually, um, two for Maya camps, which Chris has seen the one, she's in there, and um, this this cock, this blue cock, which is again from Maya camps. We don't have to go into the breeding, do we? Because it's advertising, <coughs> isn't it? Matter. Well, uh, well, it's sprint bloodlines, which is what yeah. it's a Lederman pigeon. Yeah, so, yeah, I say it's a Lederman pigeon. I looked at the, the pedigree, and I, but on the on the mother's side, it's not a Lederman pigeon. It's one of the like kind of pigeons, which are of the same bloodlines as some of the pigeons I got, or from the uh, same the first origin. So as I say, I introduce them to see if I can strengthen my, my team. But obviously, if they don't have an effect, then they won't be staying with me. Um, because, again, I've got pigeons. 75% uh, of my pigeons are from Iacamps, oh, okay. the other from from Deb de Reuter. Um, the one hen from Deb de Reuter this year, well, last year, bred the Titan Games winner in co-breeding with Dave Madison. Um, and there's a couple of people, other people have had pigeons off me and they've won good prizes with them. So my base pigeons unfortunately right. are getting old. So you've got to look to their children and also maybe you need to bring in some some fresh blood. Yeah. But it's my opinion to, to, to make a family around the winning pigeons. And it's not just like a five minute job it could take yeah. a few years you told us about testing the new pigeons what do you look for in selection how much time do you give them to to prove well, they are good or not and how do you do the selection my, afterwards? my selection will be the basket um, I can't afford to keep pigeons that don't perform for me if they start to perform then obviously they will be raced, obviously they're raced. Um, and I will then obviously, if it's a cock, it'll be in the raced cocks. And I'll pair it to one of my children from my other stock pigeons to see. I'll breed, I will breed a, 
youngster up is. Yeah. And if they work, then you're halfway there again. But if they don't work, then unfortunately, it's, you know what? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take a look now into the loft. You also upgraded uh, one of them a bit. Oh, Actually, you mean Chris's pretty. white house? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the white house now. It's um, not in America, it's in Shrewsbury. It's his fault. Yeah, is he it? Kept, he kept taking the Michael out of my old shed. <laughs> So I thought... But, yeah, I, but that old shed won the National Flying Club and won first 12, first 13 in the Federal Youngbird. So yeah, well, now you've changed it, probably. if you don't win to it, you can't blame me because I, I said don't change it. I've got to blame him, haven't I? Who else <laughs> can I blame? He made me... The old shed know. worked, didn't it? It worked. Yeah. OK, let's get there now. <laughs> right. Well, as you can see, this is my fantastic stock loft. Yeah. We'll just take a few minutes to take a look around we all we've already entered most of them yeah last year yeah uh, so we've well, got a breeding pigeons here they yeah. just had a bath <laughs> yeah they have yeah they just, i told you they love a bath uh, uh, they're all very relaxed and uh, yeah we re nicely relaxed now after a bath yeah and then you've got the new loft here yes we Chris, talked this about. The shall we take a look to the youngsters that are yeah. in here yeah you bred them quite early yeah this is the first time that I can remember in a long time. Yeah. I bred early. Why did you do it? Because I wanted to try something different with my young birds this year, which I haven't done before. One is I wanted to try them on the darkness. Yeah. And I want to try something else, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. It's still in my mind. Yeah. yeah. Um, something I saw at Tommy Lawley years and years ago, probably 40 years ago and he was very successful with his young birds in those days. So I'm gonna try it myself. But I can't explain it to you now, but when I know what I'm going to do, I will be able to tell you. Yeah. Is that all right? Because I, I'm not too clear at the moment. Yeah, of course. Um, but as I say, there's a few in here at the moment. There'll probably be a few losses for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, they're starting to molt now. Obviously, I've, I've used the sedicol and amino is starting to molt a bit which is and starting to look a bit okay so it's, this is the future yeah if there's any winners in there we'll, we'll, we'll only find out time will tell won't it well this is where i'm going to race my hens to at the moment there's 12 no there isn't there's uh nine yearling hens and my three old hens which are two year old <laughs> they're not old um and then obviously, again, they're just about finished the youngsters now. They will be out within the next week or so. Um, obviously, they're gonna have, these have to have a bath. I can give those a bath inside, but it does make a bit of a mess. But at the moment, with the, because of the birds of prey again, I can't leave them out because if they lie on the garden, they're yeah. gone. <laughs> so it's a bit, you gotta juggle it a bit, if you know what of I mean. Of course, yeah. And then, um, as I say, the cocks are all in there. I've actually got seven yearling cocks with my 10 cocks from last year. And my 10 cocks from last year were all prize winners. Well, in the first, well most of them were first prize winners. Um, so, we just that's all I can say. I just yeah. got to wait and see. You, you can't. Brilliant. Yeah, we'll be trying to visit you again in the season. Uh, maybe somewhere in, I don't know, two, three months apart from now. Okay. That would be more more interesting. All right, thank you both of you. Uh, thank you, Chris. In the end, because you're the one who connected us with Michael. Yeah, no problem. No uh, problem. Such great pigeon that we saw here even last year. Yeah. Uh, now looking forward to a new season. <laughs> uh, Hopefully, be as successful as yeah. previous. We wish you good luck. <laughs> yeah. Finger crossed. <laughs> we wish you good luck, and uh, we greet those watching us. Have thank a nice you very day. much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>